Hello Pisces and welcome to my channel Joy to the World. I am your reader, Melissa Joy. Pisces, beautiful yet difficult, easily knowable but very little known. It's kind of a paradox, huh? And it's like there's this notion of just like holding your ground, fighting, holding it out, keeping it the same. Um, and there's many belts of truth going on here. So that's a lot of conflict because truth is truth. Now there is universal truth, right? Which is for us all principles of life and things like that. And then there are personal truths about like what brings me joy and what brings me happiness. But it shows me that there's quite a bit of conflict here as to what actually brings you true happiness, lasting happiness. Because see, it's all over the place. Look at your belts all over the place. Look at all these swords and these people walking away dejected. So there's a notion of, as opposed to being the mastermind and always having like the master of puppets mind and seeing and knowing and watching and going and doing and using your giftings as a source of isolation, of disruption, of keeping people on their toes or a little bit off base, like shif shifting sands, phases of the moon, that type of thing. So at the bottom, let's see, we have the king of swords. Look at that. See when the feet roll out, that's more like weak knees. That's um, a sign of weakness. Like taking this to this place isn't bringing you what all you've dreamt of. You might have all these people around you but still feel lonely. Still have to turn to the bottle, the bag, the fridge, the whatever those things are. All right. Pisces has been hit hard in these last few hundred years because Neptune became the sole ruler in the house. And it's these mirages of life of being led into all the fascination of what the world offers and then it being hollow and empty like the hollow chocolate bunny. See, that's the thing about the bunnies, the chocolate bunnies that are hollow. They're not made with chocolate. They're made with this cheap, weird, greasy, nasty stuff that maybe you could please a young child with, but a mature human being. And there's especially this, there's especially a man showing up here that this is really putting a finger to is what they're saying. And not like a pointing finger, um, more like a, a guiding finger, like in a guidebook. Maybe you're not ready to have the direct connection with another person. And that's all right. That's all right. Life is really here wanting to step in to restore your soul, friend. That's why we're doing a mind, body, soul reading. And we're taking a peek at these different oracles to see kind of where you're at or what we could elucidate on it or open up for it or maybe even provide some assistance. But the thing is, is I'm not here to provide you answers. I'm here to stir up your questions because your questions open you up to your soul, your guide, your spirits, and what they have to say to you. My words are just a, a, like a key to lead into it, okay? So on the split here and the mind card, I'm seeing acceptance showing up. That really that embracing it, the truth of who you are, being an individual of who you are. I mean, being wedged between Aquarius and Pisces, that is quite, I mean, between Aquarius and Aries, that's quite a mix, huh? That's quite a mix. And you can be in these like conundrums and contradictions and things, especially because, you know, natural 12th house was considered the ending the wrapping it up like staying to the end of the party the life of the party the one who wakes up the next day having been passed out on the couch of whoever had the party and everybody's like oh you're li the life of the party you're the host the hostess of the party the facilitator and it's continuing to put out empty vainglory that you don't get you you appreciate what they're saying but it often can be tinged with sadness because your gut your belly is hollow and empty we want to get in the truth of your instincts my friend we want to get into the things that nourish you that fulfill you that look have their own life force and begin to overflow and that the things like nature and um I could say hobbies, interests, uh, skills, things like that, that 
as you begin to apply yourself into it and discover the truth of who you are. Discover the truth of who you are now because Jupiter has moved in there. That's why it's bringing a more tangible element so that you can have miracles as opposed to mirages. All right. And look at that. The faith card is showing up. I have a faith reading that is posted that you might go check out. But that's what it looks like when Jupiter and Neptune are in Pisces. Neptune takes its place because Neptune operates best upside down. It operates best as the reflection, not as the dream caster, because it's a lot of uh, air and vacancy. It's a lot of like pipe dreams, because what pipes are hollow, all these things are hollow. But look at that, the belly is wet, full of the earth, full of life. Hello, hello. Pisces, I hope this is getting you stirred up, that you get to join your party. You get to join your life. You get to go in and create and experience and experiment. Experiment with life, friend, all right? No more needing to check out or to take yourself under in order to just wake up again and try and get a fresh new beginning, a fresh new perspective, a fresh new start. No more having to live at the end, at the crumbs. Like if you show at a buffet and you're not there at the front, you just get the little scrapings around the dishes. Ooh, no wonder I want to check out too and be like, what is happening here? And we're just saying, let's just adjust your dial a little bit. Let's get into what you desire a little bit, knowing that before you get caught up in the throngs of all these truths coming around. Because if you're always bringing the fun for everybody else, where are you? Where are you? Ooh, this is what you picking. Ooh, how'd that get upside down? Ooh, what is going on? All right, this four of swords there. No, it's the seven of swords, but that's weird. It's showing up as the four of swords. It's like a delayed healing, a delayed response. Mm. So let's spirit show us how to remove the delay and where it might be. Give us any wisdom you might have on that. Step into that queen of pentacles. Ooh, all right. The wind started to blow and she's like, it turned her head. So responding to spirit to follow the guidance of spirit. That's powerful stuff there. Okay. Thank you, spirit. So that's going to be more in the color card. Let's go ahead and go there first. And let's get a little color assistance in here for you. Okay, friend. Ooh, bright sunny days. Protect yourself as you're, as you're going along your way. Make sure your mind is your mind, friend. All right. Get ready for some a little bit more spirituality with Jupiter coming in. Um, okay, thank you. The wind blew it. Let's see what the queen said. White, lighten up. Lighten up. And that has more to do with like waking up earlier. Instead of giving yourself a few moments to escape the clutch of the recovery because that's where it usually starts is you don't like the way it begins because a lot of Pisces, especially Pisces moon, has to do with addiction and recovery. Addiction, recovery. Moving from this delusion, this drug, to this, to this, to this, trying to see all the facets and colors of the world. When the, who you are, if you got the white, that's everything. All you gotta do is switch your tune, change your radio station, uh, go go pick some watermelon up out of the fridge, put a popsicle in your mouth, go for a walk, hum a tune, listen to like the locusts, you know, I would say chirping. They kind of in the background, you know, in the lapping of the water. There's so many ways to change your state that don't have regret or recovery, that taxation attached to it. So that then you have to find a new way to kickstart it again and go again. And that usually has to do with more of that old Neptunian energy. So how do we get into this new and we lighten up? Give yourself a fresh start. Give yourself a chance to breathe from the old ways of which you've done these things. Of the old ways that you just checked out because, hey, it's just another day. Get rid of the blase. Mm. Put some sensational in your life because this white is like a blank slate. It's like color your world with whatever you love. Not the distortions, friend. Go way back. Way back before those were readily available, even if you have to all, go all the way back to age four. Okay, snow leopards showing up in the split for the body. This is very indicative of 
Piscean energy around here, that cosmic blue, but I love that they brought the white, the snow leopard into it. So it's showing to me like some of you may actually benefit from lighting candles around your house or scrying, meaning watching the energy of fire. You could even have, uh, go to a bonfire that somebody's having. You could, okay, that's for somebody right there. Okay. Or maybe even have a barbecue and invite people over, or you could um, barbecue for yourself. Or um, you can have a fire pit, treat yourself to something like that, so that when your mind wants to go into that unknown, into the cosmic blue, into this energy, you can do it and then leave it right there. You set up whatever size fire for however long you feel like you want to channel into that energy and tap into that energy. And then it'll dissipate out when you're wrapping it up. So that you don't have to stay in the, the putting things into your body. You can engage with your spirit. Oh, you have two cards showing up. Of course, Pisces. This is you. Okay. Your spirit. Your human body. The Neptune and the Jupiter. All right, the proverbial and the real, okay? Wow. Well, hmm. You're smart. I'll leave that there for you. Let's get into your soul. What's down here at the bottom? Lovaria, let's move you around, Hex, and be still and allow the enemy to reveal themselves. Maybe that's how you get that bit of reprieve from the recovery, right? And then you begin to truly live instead of just recovering. Why would you recover your couch, spoil your couch, and then the next day go, oh man, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, what do we do? Get up, let's get it recovered, call the upholster, let's meet up with them, let's try and get our heads straight. No. Then why are you doing it with those other things? Why? Okay. They're wanting to get you into this, they're saying transposition, and again, you got two cards. Two cards for the soul epoch pause in your journey and paradisical 24 you belong to paradise and you know that look at that white this is like milk springing up all around you so it has to do with finding this change in states through innocence through openness through inspiration as opposed to adulting meaning beverages and drugs and and you know I'm not just gonna say what they're saying, but sexual things and all that kind of stuff. But anyways, cause they could just put it out cause they have no laws and regulation there. But that's how it's been leaving you destroyed. It doesn't require this type of recovery, right? In order to get to what it is. You can pause and take those moments. You can do shift points. You can do whatever it is. Just like right now, the shift stays. I don't have to leave here. I could just fall quiet for a moment. Notice the sound of that truck moving by a few streets away. Noticing how loud the cicadas are becoming. Watch the lilt of the oats moving around with their gorgeous goldeny green color because they're moving more into the gold from the green. Little things like that. Let us start to tease your mind. That's the milk that's showing up here. The wonder, the new birth, the new expression. And it's the thing that includes you. Because when you have that recovery, you also have tinges of regret and it throws you out of your own truth, out of your own life and your own experience. And it keeps you at the hand of like the master of puppets, right? And what you were showing me at the beginning, getting to that king of swords, trying to master this, to overcome it, isn't quite the way. It's more the surrendering and the giving the space, the being soft energy, the white light energy, clean slate, new beginning. So you might wake up with your regret and your recovery and go, okay, wait, clean slate, new beginning. If this is a clean slate and a new beginning, what would I tell myself right now? What can I do for myself right now that brings in that milk, that brings in the color, the love, the, the pleasure, this new energy, right? Some of that fire that they're talking about for you can be going out to watch the sun. Maybe even some stargazing at night. Maybe even making yourself a gorgeous fire at night and sitting out there and having all those energies around with you and communing with the elders. Mm. Pisces, there's so many options for you, but they're not giving a lot of answers, right? Because this creativity is solely up to you. They're just hoping to stir you up and get you interested in leaning in. All right, 
So if you're still here, you might like something and want to hear more. So click that subscribe button. It's free as always. YouTube will notify you anytime I post new videos. You could also tickle that like button for me with your touch of love. I would so much appreciate it. Stop by the comments too. I love you. Bye.